Today I'd like to show you some variations on the forearm backbend, the baby backbend that we use in the daily spinal sequence. Of course a backbend is all about stretching the tissues through the front line of the body. Uh, so hip flexors get stretched, all the abdominal muscles and up through the rib cage as well. So I want to show you some ways you can emphasize those aspects. Follow along with me. You would have done this baby backbend a number of times just to remind you how to get in and out of it so that we don't tense up through the back muscles. Put one hand into a push-up position, use it to roll off to the side a little bit, elbow comes into position and then use the outstretched arm to transfer your weight to this first elbow and there you are in your initial backbend. We breathe and relax there, let the abdomen sag towards the floor, wriggle the hips, check that the bottom muscles are relaxed. Then we can do a little lift up by pressing the elbows into the floor, a little attempt to drag the elbows forward and that helps the idea of moving the ribs forward and up and then we settle again into position. So the very baby version of the um, side to side movement would be to turn and look around in both directions and even that gives you the sense of slight shift from side to side through the front of the ribs there but this version makes that even stronger so here we go I'm going to stay on one elbow in this case the right elbow and I'm going to come to a partial push-up position with this hand then I'm going to do a variety of things I'm going to use both the right elbow and my left hand to lift up a little bit more and pull back on the hand and the elbow to get that same lengthening effect then I'm going to use this hand to push me around to the side and the right elbow to drag me around to the side and then both again elbow hand pulling me forward. Now just that movement has pulled on a strong hip flexor stretch and abdominal stretch and additional stretch through the left side of the upper ribs there. Very strong, very strong. I can also rotate my hips a little bit, so I'm really driving the left hip into the ground as I then turn around, push-pull a little bit more. I'll come down and I'll show you the other side. So this is providing most support, this left elbow here. Other hand, and you can vary where that hand needs to be for you. Lift up, pull back, twist around, drive the right hip into the floor, and the more you can think about all of the ribs going forward and then being pulled up towards the ceiling, the stronger that lengthening effect will be. Breathe deeply. One of the aspects here is that you've got two arms that can be doing a great variety of things to provide a huge number of forces. So they can both be pulling, they can both be pushing, one can be pulling, one can be pushing. This hand can be doing this kind of action and that pulls the ribs to the right, has a different effect in the right side of the abdomen and down through the front of that hip. The point is there's no limit to the push-pull forces you can employ in a position like this, so play around with it. To come out, come back to the center position, lower down, and we always do a counter flexion after any back bend, any one that you like. I particularly like the all fours round out like this, but you might prefer to just sink back into pose of the child. Awesome, give that one a go.